down down your back a little bit. Roll the other way. Very good. And let's sit up or roll up together as you will. Wow, what a nice turnout of great friends. Happy Saturday. You may, if you're a Zoomer, you might see a message on your screen that this is being live streamed to YouTube because it is. Uh, it's, it only shows me and my image and my identity. It doesn't show you in any way, shape or form. So it's tote safe to press that. The reason I record it is that so anybody that wants to join in can all the way around the world because the world needs yoga. And also then I it records it and then I can put it on my YouTube channel so all of us can enjoy a practice anytime during the week. If you're not familiar with my YouTube channel, it's uh, it's I'll let you know, I'll leave you a link. Anyway, happy Saturday to all who are watching. I'm going to start with a Sanskrit prayer. It goes Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. Now you don't need to know what that means. You can feel what it means. It means love and peace and blessing to all beings everywhere, always. So we might close our eyes and feel ourselves to be a center that radiates peace in all directions. Just for a moment, close your eyes, breathe. A group of a group getting together for the purpose of spreading peace and love counteracts 400,000 silly people who are fearful. Such is the power of truth. Okay, then we'll chant an Om together and then we will we'll get going with Saturday Frisky Yoga. Nice big inhale. Oh, we'll bring our hands into the heart, drop our chins. Now I invite you to say a prayer or a blessing or an intention for yourself this day. Pray big. God loves big prayers. God loves source, infinite, higher organizing principle, I hop. Good press send. And as I like to say, be ready to receive. Okay, we'll stand up. Now I played in the biggest golf tournament of the year last or biggest golf tournament of the year yesterday. So I'm going to start in dangle my bangle. I like my yoga blocks. Drop your head, pull the pin out of your hair, maybe pedal your heels, maybe move your buns around a little but definitely forward fold softly. And then let your head hang like a bowling ball. Okay. Wag your shag, dip your do. It's all, it associates with draining our brain of fear, worry, anxiety. Extrapolating forward into imaginary futures. Somewhere in one of the world scriptures, it says, you cannot by taking thought, add one cubit to your measure. So we can't think ourselves to enlightenment. Okay, exhale all the air out, please. And a rise up, Jogies. What a nice turnout today. It's great to see you. I have one of my favorite cat t-shirts on. Maybe you saw Looney at the start of class. My arms are bleeding, exhale out. Okay, here we go. Left foot forward, turn on to your right toenails, swirl your heel around. If you're watching this for the first time, this is called joint juice and it we go through all the joints of the body and get them moving and grooving and lubricated other way. 
This is WD-40 for our joints. We're like the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz, and Dorothy is squirting the good stuff on our joints. Seven, eight. Sink into your ankles. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Come up and out. Right foot forward. Onto your left toenails. This also requires a modicum of balance. If you're brand new and it's like you feel unstable, shaky, and what is this? Boy, are you in the right place. Because it's only going to get worse unless we address it other way. Use it or lose it. But if you use it, it increases. To he that hath, more will be given. To she that hath not, even that which she has shall be taken away. Sink in. Might as well shape the class toward the feminine because usually it's mostly women that do yoga. That's, men are just not as smart as women are. Good. Come up and out. All right. Bigger movements. Standing back a little bit. Feet out wide. Arms out. This is my right leg. I'm going to kick it and kick and kick. Just kicking it on a Saturday. Had big fun in the big golf tournament of the whole year yesterday. And it's a little bit of a letdown after a big thing. So we got to Get our batteries going and trust that the best is always yet to be. God loves source always has something fresh, new and interesting. If we will simply look forward. Three. Two. One. Good job. All right. OK, slacky stance, just kind of bending. T-shirts are hanging. Arms are floppy like ropes. And swing relaxed arms. Now I've got an got a in-person class that I teach in Pleasant Hill, a lot of newcomers, and their arms, some of their arms just look like they look like sticks. They, their arms go like this. Because they just they haven't yet learned to just let go. Let go. That's okay, they will learn it. Four, three, two. Now, next time you go to your right, left hand, right shoulder, right arm tucks behind your back. Bend your knees and corkscrew to the right. Look behind you, relax your shoulders. Inhale, sweep it over to the other side. Clean sweep, left arm behind your back, right hand, left shoulders, left shoulder. Sink into the floor, grow some roots. We dig into the floor on this. That's the feeling we're augering in. Inhale and release. Good. Okay, now feet are hip distance apart. The veterans know this one. Newbies, maybe not. You sink in and you roll up. See how willowy and swillowy it looks? It's super fun. And again, my arms are ropes. They're not flinging up. First time I ever did this with my teacher, I flung my arm up like we were doing the wave at the ball game and whoo, was that embarrassing. It's ankles and knees and feet and sinking down and just kind of resiliencing and this ripple rolls through the front of our body like a flag blowing in the breeze. Three, two, one, and yoga inhale. Now, feet together, as close as you can get them. Knuckles on your head, knuckleheads, that means palms up. Knucklehead for me is a term of endearment. I'm one. And then tippy toes, knucklehead pose. And then extendo, tippy, palms up, knucklehead pose. And then way up higher. And we'll do 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. 13, 12, 11, 10, getting strong and resilient, bouncy and buoyant. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay up on one. Now there are a lot of adults out there, the vast majority that never go up and down on their tippy toes. And because of that, their feet die, they atrophy. 
they can still kind of shuffle around in an awkward fashion. But if you keep your feet lively, springy, resilient, buoyant, fun loving, you will have so much of a better life because you'll be able to move around way up on your tippy toes. Close your eyes, balance on your tippy toes. If you lose your balance, it's okay. But just regain it. Good, drop your heels, knuckles on your head, side bend left. Left shoulder blade arcs over your right one. Maybe you turn the cat on your t-shirt slightly up and to the right, legs stay firm. Inhale, kids. Simple side bend. Basic human ranges of motion when done in sequence lead to a synergy, a synchronicity of improvement. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Inhale up, extend your arms up, release out, step out this wide. Now arms behind our back, we'll do four poofs behind your back, behind your neck. Say poof, because make your neighbors irri irritable because you yell so loud. Poof, it's okay to open up your lungs and to make some noise, otherwise no one will hear us. Poof, good, you guys sound good today. One more. I need me some yoga today, poof. Now lace your hands behind your back. I'm angling my feet at 45 degree angles. My knees are bendy like this. My spine is my spine. It's pretty much been mine. Yours is yours. And put your head and your butt down on the floor. Now newcomers might go, is he serious about head and butt on the floor? I'm not serious about it. I just want you to get down. Inhale, look forward, high. Exhale, drop your head like a bowling ball. Pretend you're a kangaroo and sit your kangaroo tail on the floor. Come on up. Release your arms. My arms actually say thwang when I do that. Thwang, yang, 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 yang. Lace your hands. Drop your hands behind your head. Now cleverly turn your toes in and your heels out as much as you can. Push the earth down. Push the sky up. Close your eyes. I want you to actually feel that from the center of my body, just south of my belly button. I'm pushing the sky up and I'm pushing this guy down. Open your eyes. Now side bend, keeping that firmness of leg. Turn your chest up. Get a nice ooh feeling. Inhale. And a nice ooh to the right. Inhale. Release out. Flop, go my arms. Okay, comfortably wide stance, but parallel feet. Let's, again, odd for newcomers. Lace your hands, thumbs up, and brush, brush your thumbs down the widest part of your neck. Do not brush your carotid artery, because that's not good. You just want to brush the widest side of your neck. Stimulates our throat chakra. Do you believe in chakras? I don't care whether you believe in them or not. I want us to experience them energetically. Belief is what you have before you have experience. Good. Now take your thumbs, these guys. This is the corner of my jaw. There's a soft spot underneath. Relaxing my face down into my hands. That's key. I pretend my hands are two octopi. And then I massage my thumbs provocatively underneath my jaw joint. And it feels like, oh, my God, you say. Ooh, dig in, kids. It's good to be stimulating energy points. Good. Arms relax, head drops. Take our coconuts around eight times. See how brilliantly, intelligently, cleverly we're going through all the joints of our body. I'm on a mission from God to get people to go to do joint juice every day, because then the world will be a happier, more peaceful, more cooperative, vastly more fun place, because people will feel better inside of their body. Eight, eight the other way. 
you can share this class with friends. They could jump on on any day. Shared yoga is so much fun. Four, don't keep it all to yourself. Only share yoga with people that you love and you want to be healthy, happy, and strong. Seven, good, and then drop your chin down, close your eyes. Sharing yoga with friends is karma yoga. Eyes closed, just feel in our feels. We spend so much time up in our head, the little control center on the top of our body. It's good to get down into the actual superstructure. Good, open your eyes. I'm gonna take my stance a little wider so I can really grind my shoulders around. Now, when I first started moving my shoulders around like this, I was, you know, I was just could barely move them really tight from life, stress, tension, worry, blah, blah, blah. And over time, I've broken up a lot of that congestion. It still crunches and cracks, but it works pretty damn good. Seven. And then I learned my shoulders could actually go the other way. They could pull back, go up over the top. Two. This pose is over the, it's over the moon. Speaking of the moon, we've got a nice waxing crescent. We're almost a quarter full. Seven. Hey, doesn't that feel good to move our shoulders? Goodness, how do people not do that? Good, roly-poly guacamoles. You lace your hands and you move them around. If you're new to this, your movements are kind of chunky and like, whoa, what is this? After a while, you get graceful, coordinated, fast, frisky, and, and quick. You get quick-witted with your wrists. Good luck saying that three times quickly. Good, good luck saying it once. Five, six. All the veterans know this, and this is why we're very fast with our paws. Shake goop off of your hands. Ugh, get it off. Ugh, get thee hence, Satan, we say. Good, and then hello, hi, how are you? I'm spectacular. What's the latest with you? How are the kids? You're talking with your neighbor over the fence and the conversation gets more and more excited and then no one wants to be quiet and you can't get a word in edgewise. So you use your hands instead and you go faster, 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 faster. And then you cup your hands at your heart, you drop your chin, you hold perfectly still for 18 seconds, don't ask why. Stop thinking, eyes closed, chin drops. Feel receptive. Thank you, universe, for pouring more blessings than fit inside of me. Amen. Good kids, inhale thy paws up. Relax them out. And then give me some attitude with your hands on your hips. Feet wide, toes in. And churn your butt, churn your butter. Now my head's scarcely moving. My hips are all over the map. My hips are Magellan circumnavigating the globe. First, first guys to do it. My head is staying home in Spain. Five, six. You want to you want to read an interesting story? Read about Magellan's first trip around the world, man. You, you want to talk about some adventuresome souls. Four, five, six, seven, eight. But we do our yoga. We would go on such adventures. Hands up, feet together again. Again, push the earth down. Push the, the fog up today. Second side bend to the left. Now this is the one where you have a mermaid leg that's sealed together, lean left, turn your chest up, smush especially into your right foot. Inhale, kitty mittens to the right. Turn your chest up, grip your legs. Get your happy on. Inhale, kitty cats. And it's our first foot together forward fold, also known as Uttanasana. Come on down. I like blocks. Drop your head off. Pull the pin out of your hair. Shake your head out. 
Now lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale to a forward fold, having pushed the air out. One, two, drop your head, dig your heels, three. Come up, yogis, up you go. In yoga, we just keep, this is the style where we just keep moving. It's called a vinyasa or a thread. Relax your arms down. Good, now we'll lace our hands right above our knees. And these are knee loopies. One, these make you feel kind of loopy as you get down into your feeties. Now, perfect people, they can almost bring their butt down. Their feet stay flat on the floor. Newbies, their feet, this opens up the ankles. So the feet are going to move around, but we're going to clean that up. Seven, eight. Other way, one, if you got stiff, crabby knees, this will basically give you a couple, a new pair of knees. Six, seven, eight. Good job. Inhale, and exhale out. Now, left arm in front of your right, palms turn in. Here's a clever movement, clap inverted, inverted clapping. Pull your hands to here, turn your hands forward. This leads to what's called party hat on top of your head. Extend your arms up and lean left. It's Crucial, it's key to keep the legs firm and the feet rooted when you side bend, because then that gives you the principle of extension. Inhale up. And lean this way. If you go so far that your feet lift or your legs become unstable, that's just called a teeter-totter, and it's kind of defeats the purpose, so to speak. Inhale. Arms forward. Bend your knees. Try to bring your butt down to the height of your knees and take your arms straight up and down. Now, some of us are going to drop our booty more than others because of the suppleness of the ankles, knees, and hips. But run your own race, okay? Run your race. Good. Now, arms down. Flip them over and a forward fold. Drop your head first and foremost. Drop your head off. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, soft back, soft legs. Exhale, push all the air out through your nose, and then don't breathe for three seconds as you go deep on empty. One, two, three, and come up, friends. Up you go. Every day is different in our body. Our body presents different challenges, different obstructions. That's okay, we learn to move through our body and move through hitches in our get along. This class might be for non gymnasts, circus performers, but they're cer certainly welcome. Arms out, right arm in front of your left, palms turn in, clap for me, thank you. Then pull your oil derricks up, point your hands forward, party hats. I like this pose because it looks like I've got a flame coming out of my head. It's the light, the inner light, my clown chakra, tippy clown chakra, extendo tippy clown chakra, way up. Now this is called being pulled out of quicksand by a helicopter. Close your eyes and balance on your tippy toes. If you don't like it, that's, your, that's irrelevant. Just do it. Open your eyes, drop your heels, and a side bend to the right. Get what you need. Find that line between what you can do and what you can't do yet. That's a great place to play life. Inhale up, side bend left. Feet strong into the floor, legs firm. Feel the stretch through your whole body. Good kitties. Now arms up, arms straight forward, and Sit on a little bench underneath you. Knees bend out over your toes, heels down, arms straight up and down. Tuck your tail feathers, your butt underneath a little bit. Keep your abdominal wall firm. Arms are down, flip some over, drop your head off, pull the pin out of your hair, shake your head out. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, bright future. 
Exhale, this is the deep forward fold for veterans. It's called Baya Kumbhaka. You push all the air out, you hold it out for one, you go deeper, two, three, and you come up. And we always do this big old inhale on the way up. It seems to make sense. And now arms out to the side. Please, sorry, arms out to the side, feet together. See how I'm corkscrewing my arms left and right, in and out? That's the key. Now my arms don't go up and down, they extend out. They, say, they stay mostly level as my arms turn a lot. See that? You could do it. I'm just another bozo on the bus. Are my movements exceptional, amazing, beyond belief, better than everybody else? Uh, no, but my ability to say it is top notch. Did your arms start to get tired after a while? That's okay. You got some strong arms. Good. Now from here, we're going to cool off our arms with two poofs up your back, behind your neck. Poof. And now I'm going to do this thing called prayer, praying behind my back. And if this is not for you, you simply grab your wrists. Some people like to grab their elbows. Now we shrug our shoulders, which is really gets goes deep into the uh, shoulder girdle, even though I don't wear sh shoulder girdles anymore. Other way, one, two, three, four. Now, this is called Tadasana, straight, firm, strong legs, chest open, chin level. I am bold and strong and soft and supple simultaneously. Turn our face 90 degrees to the right. Tilt over, left shoulder blade over your right shoulder blade. I'm a huge proponent of side bending. Inhale. Turn your face to the left. And tilt over. Side bending is back bending for normal humans. Good, and then come back up. Now I've got a challenge for you with your hands behind your back, feet together, heels down. I want you to squat as low as you can, keeping your chest up. Now I've got friends who can easily squat all the way down into a full squat when their body is in this position and I can't even come close because my ankles don't bend like that. But I'm still pretty, I'm still a pretty good person, except for this. Now inhale, on exhale, your butt goes back and you go into a forward fold in this pose. Those same friends who can squat all the way down, they can bring their forehead to their ankles, their butts all the way up. I'm just a regular old guy. Drop your head. Now bend your knees, push into your feet. Come on up. I was sent to earth to teach the 99% of people that aren't circus performers. Although if you are, thanks for joining. Now see the cat on my t-shirt. He's stretching. I'm leaning my head back and I'm going to do spinal extension. You could let your hips release forward a little bit. You could lean your head all the way back, put it on the floor. Good. Now we'll inhale our faces back. Yes, we will. Now we're going to take our paws out of prayer and we'll put them in prayer up above our head like this. And here's one of the best yoga poses you'll ever learn. Parivrita Ukatasana. Turn to the right. Take your left elbow outside your right knee. Now, if you can bring your left hand down to the floor, that's super cool. Now, stare at the floor. Relaxed neck. Line up your knees. Your left knee might be out ahead of your right knee. Line up your knees, toes, ankles, and simply go as low as you can with your heels down. If you do what you can do, the pose will do the rest for you. Shoulders down away from your ears. And we hold it, building strength, determination, focus, fun, perseverance. Yogis call it tapa, sustained, determined action. Drop your arms, please, to come up. Oh, that's, that's like a $3.75 pose, you guys. That one is 
the most bang for your buck. Exhale out. I believe in the yoga that gives us the best return on investment, not wasting time. There's too many fun things to do. Grandchildren to play with, bikes to ride, golf clubs to hit, music to play, friends to visit with. Yoga should be efficient. Inhale and pull hands down and turn down into the left right elbow outside your left knee if your elbow does not make it outside your knee just rest your elbow in between your knees you are more than welcome right hand touches the floor for bendy bears with supple ankles knees and hips your spine is level head is forward stare right right down at your floor shoulders away from your ears the question is the rhetorical question is, but answer it anyway, how low can you go? Lift your toes, not your heels. Spread your toes open, air them out. Air on the side of airing them out. Good, drop your arms, please come up. Now we're gonna ohm, because this builds strong, healthy lungs when we're kind of breathless. Inhale. Oh, it's okay to make noise. Oh, don't be embarrassed. Oh, let other people embarrassed. Oh, drop your chin, close your eyes. Feel your feels inside with your eyes closed for 22 seconds. Shoulders relax. Heart open, mind empty. And our wonderful affirmation that we've said together that's spreading all across the planet. We are calm and peaceful souls. So many people nowadays are not calm and peaceful. They're agitated and they think their agitation is caused by somebody other than themselves. And that's there's a technical word for that. That's called insanity. If other people would do what I wanted, I would be calm and peaceful. So let's get over that mental disease, shall we? Calm and peace starts in the heart of the individual and spreads outward. Good, relax thy arms down, inhale up, kid cats, doing great, right on schedule. Arms out super wide, good. Now, when you're a calm and peaceful soul, you radiate that out with your arms like this, palms open, pull your arms back carefully. Good, now bring your right arm under, fold your arms up, if you can. Now, simply take your right knee up over your left, Cross your legs as tightly as you can. Some humans can bring their right ankle behind their left ankle. It's pretty cool. Our challenge is simply to make sure our right foot lifts and balance solely on the solely of your left foot and squeeze a lot. This is called Eagle Pose. It was invented by a musical group in the 80s called the Eagles. Just kidding. This pose Glenn fries you, it just cooks you. Good, now the fun begins. Arms out. Now our left hand grabs our right foot behind our behind and your right hand comes to the floor. Now we inhale, for veterans, you try to bring your right knee down so it touches the floor by bending your left ankle and left knee. It's hard. On exhale, the right knee goes all the way up to the ceiling. Your hips turn open to the right and you do a deep forward fold over your left leg. And it's hard. Yoga's hard. Good, now bend your left ankle and left knee a little bit. Take your right arm out to the side for flamingo pose. Balancing on one foot is good. Some people can't balance on two feet. If you can balance on one foot, your life's gonna be more fun. Right hand down, right leg releases back. Left arm broadly sweeps open. Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana. 
your right heel lifts as you turn to the left that squeezes and twists and makes your body fun head forward good bring your left hand down please take your right arm up to the ceiling turn your right hip open open up like a sail on a sailboat stretch open get big like my kitten when he's puffed up good right hand down now it's fun to re-grab your right foot with your left hand behind your behind that's coordination skill balance fun frisky stand up with your hand on your foot good now release your right knee out in front and then we add grace and elegance by waving our arms like an albatross an albatross is a two strokes on a par five it's called an albatross right ankle over your left knee and then hands on your blocks i have to dive down a little bit i'm not a perfect person i'm just a dude man good now squat as low as you can into your left ankle left heel down sink in bend and let your left knee release as far forward as it can keeping your left heel down that will make you squirm and squeal and squeak and scream Good, now hands in prayer, balance in throne pose. You're thrown into this one. One, two, three, hands on the blocks. Inhale, look forward at your bright future. Exhale, dive bomb down your head over your left leg, butt is pulled up. Put your right big toe in your left nostril. One, two, gross, three. Good, now come up and out. I don't think it's gross, I think it's fun. Come up, whoop, put your foot down. Yoga inhale to relax. And a yoga forward fold to disperse the tension from that side. Come on down, drop your head, wag your shag. Inhale, look forward, bending your knees. Exhale, via kumbhaka, push all the air out, stay empty. Veterans know they can go deeper on empty. One, two, three. Come on up, friends. Oh, that is such a good sequence. I call it betterthanbikram.com. Exhale out. Okay, side B. Inhale for inhaling. Arms out. Palms open, palms forward, big hugs. Arms pull back gently. Now sweep your left arm under. If your arms don't fold up, just grab your shoulders. If they do fold up, well then by all means, fold them up. Then bring your left knee up over your right knee. Set your toenails down on the floor over on the right side. That's, it. That's training wheel. Lift right foot for balance pose. Put right ankle behind your left ankle for the full enchilada. And then just squat down as low as you can, but chest up we want to sink into the ankles knees and hips we don't want to lean our chest forward to counterweight so much we want to keep the weight over the center line of the body as much as we can with our current karma if you lose your balance i just did it's like i don't care if you lose your balance i care that you regain it Good, now arms out like this, left knee up. Now this right hand over here grabs my left foot behind my behind. Left hand is used to balance on the floor. The key, the sine qua non, the linchpin, bring left knee down as close to the floor as you can. I mean like almost touch it. Good, now on exhale, bring your left knee opposite all the way up touch your knee to the ceiling now is he kidding no your left knee points to the ceiling head down one two three now relax your right ankle right knee a little bit take your left arm out to the side flamingo pose Some people can barely balance on two feet anymore. Yogis balance in weird positions on one foot. That makes life more fun. Yoga is about also having more fun. 
Left hand down, release your left foot back. Thwang, it says. Sweep your right arm open to the right, head forward. Now, I want you to feel your head and your left heel pushing in opposite direction. Your left and right hand opening in opposite direction. I'm being emphatic. Get bigger, no bigger still yet even still. Right hand is to come down now. Now we get big the other direction. We radically open to the left, left arm up, head forward, heel back, left toes splay open. Break the spider web around your body. Good, bring left hand down. Now with cleverness and balance, re-grab your left foot behind your behind and stand up with alacrity, with an epiphany. Good, left knee out in front, wag your arms, wave, hey, it's new wave, dance crave, take your arms out. Good, now cleverly put your left ankle over your right knee, and then you're a tripod, you got two hands and a right foot. I swear to you, if you squat into your right ankle as much as you can, right knee forward, you will transform your ability to experience your life. Now we lean back and we pray together in throne pose. One, two, three. Now hands on the blocks, extra bend your right ankle, right knee, inhale. Exhale, savagely forward fold over your right leg. Put your left big toe in your right ear, leg straight. One, two, three. Repray with your hands, friends, and come up and out. Foot down. Now we're going to do an ohm because we're kind of breathless, and when you can breathe big, when you're breathless, you are stronger. Half a minute of standing meditation. One name for meditation in yoga is Laya, L-A-Y-A. It means absorption. Drop your chin, close your eyes, hold still, feel your heartbeat. Stop thinking. If you start thinking, stop. Enough thinking already. Being. Presence. Wonderful, you did good with that sequence. So after the extra frisky part, it's time to sit and change the tone of the class a little bit. We seek to find the exact proper amount and ratio of yoga that gives us the best return on investment, okay? So sitting with our legs crossed, some people would say, hey, he's sitting Indian style. And it's just, this is called Sukhasana. My ankles are underneath. If you have a stronger cross, feel free. Spine tall, chin level, close your eyes. Bring the breathing, the feeling of your breath right to the tippy most of your nose. And with your eyes closed for half a minute, just feel the breath go in at your nose and leave from your nose. Reduce the ridiculous complexity of life down to in and out. Peace is a practice. If you practice, if we practice, we get better at it. And if we don't practice peace, we get worse at it. And that's, that's just the way it is. There's no, there's no escaping that principle. 
People that don't practice peace lose what they have. People who do practice peace get more of it. And you can't break that law. All right, we're going to do what's called floor work because it's done on the floor. Show me your hands. I want to see your hands. Set some back here. Now show me your feet. Good. Now set your feet down. Now bottoms up. Champagne bottoms, caviar rears. Bendy friends will bring their hips higher than their knees. Stiffies will struggle mightily, but you'll get better. Good, Jogies, and come on down. Now, you're going to have to listen to me because we're going to be on our back. So on your back, take your legs up. You can put a little blanket underneath your head if you want. That's always, always available. But this is called the Viparita Karani, legs up, reverse of circulation. So good for us. It's an inversion, and it builds some strength just to hold your legs straight up and down. I think we should keep our ankles dorsiflexed, meaning at a right angle, kind of pull the toes in, inner knees kind of pressed together, legs are reasonably straight, not rigid, but not sloppy neither. Okay, now here's a pose veterans love and newcomers hate. You take your legs, hate might be too strong a word, despise is a good word. Take your legs all the way out to the side until they come all the way down in full splits. Now, since you can't do that, maybe one person in a 100,000 can do the full splits on their back. So this is fine for us mere mortals. We're going to stir our ankles. One, two, three, four, five, and then backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now we're going to lift our head, neck, and shoulders. We're going to point our toes like ballerinas, fingertips on the back of the head. 15 crunches. 15, 14, 13, 12, and 11, D, tendency, nunca, ocho, sententa, cincuenta, cincuenta, cuatro, Pi, tres, Avogadro's number, dosen, uno, said. Good. Now grab me, you guys. Grab me. Now squeeze your knees together. Bend your knees. Pull your knees in. Now just rest your head down. This is easy baby pose. Grab your big toes if you can and bend your knees. And this is happy baby pose with chin drops, back of your neck on the floor, knees on the floor by your side, butt drops, shoulders relax. And this is yin yoga. Yin is an acronym. It stands for why I in this pose so long. We let it sink in through the various layers of our tissue. If this pose feels terrible, you're going to have to kind of modify it. And after a while, these poses will fit our body. But if we simply won't do any yoga because nothing feels good anymore, then it's just not going to be that much fun to live in our body no more. A great purpose for doing yoga is the fun and joy that it gives us in everything else that we do. Speaking of fun, lift your head and look around at the other people in class hey how you doing yeah i like this pose too you say good now rest your head down squeeze your knees in together and grab your knees and just take your knees around in a circle other way now we'll roll up together and since it's exactly high noon we're going to stick the dismount and we're going to pray with our hands and feet. We're going to clap our feet. I love Saturday yoga with my friends. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Yay. I'm going to tell all my friends about it. That's a subliminal message.
Good, now push your hands and feet together really super extra strong. Good, now reach out and grab your toes. If you can't grab your toes, grab somebody else's toes. And hi, how you doing pose? Sit tall, sit straight, straighten your legs, shoulders relax. And the cat on your t-shirt pushes out and forward. If you can't do it, stick with us. You'll get better every single day. Good, bring your feet in for together, set them down. Now this is called Baddha Konasana, Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees out. And everybody can pull their heels in at a different level. Some people can bring their feet in and sit on top. I wouldn't recommend that, but for some people it's easy. And we're just gonna wobble a little side to side to stretch our hind quarters. I call them our hind halves, why they're called the quarters, I do not know. Now, this is an important pressure point in our body, the inner knee, so just wagulate a little here. Sometimes there's a type of massage called Traeger, where if you shake a little bit, it just re relieves residual tension. Unless you're so tight, then we need a jackhammer. Good, now, can you inhale? I know you can inhale, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Exhale and straighten your arms, sit straight, push your knees all the way down to the floor. If you can't do it, that's okay. There should be some things that we can't do yet. We wanna be able to do everything. Hey, cat, hi, come see us, come see us. Okay, kids, we're gonna counter pose. We're in the home stretch, just a few more minutes of yin. I think you'll really like this part. Left leg out. Now just grab your right foot and, and go like this. I love teachers who say, go like this. You get a lesson from a golf pro and he says, you just take the club and you hit it 300 yards right down the middle. Go like this, other way. Woo, woo, you say woo. Now right, ankle, uh, right elbow under. Towel rack pose. This is French service from the left. Left, ankle, left arm, this is called, sweeps under and scratch up your head. Oh, it exfoliates while it enlightens. Good, now from here, take the uh, pointy thing of your ankle, set it outside your left knee. Your knee might be way up here, that's okay. If possible, fold your left shin under and escuchin in. We're escuchin in. Listen. Pulling back on my high knees. This is the, if you tend to feel agitated, worried, fearful, restless, irritable, discontent, this is the pose for y'all. Inhale, kitty cats. Grab your elbows. I see Linda's beautiful white cat. Always doing yoga with us. If you have your camera on, that's your choice. And if I see your pet, I'm gonna say hi to your pet. Side to side. Good, now bring your arms down and position your right forearm on top of your left forearm like this. Arms out. Now tall spine, but relaxed shoulders. Let your hands relax, flop, chin level, close your eyes. And a yoga mudra, place the tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. And I want you to say, or better yet, feel inside of yourself the affirmation and prayer, I am a calm and peaceful soul. And so shall you be. We are what we say we are, but we have to say, if we don't say, other people will tell us what we are, and then we lose our destiny. Okay, now you might need blocks to do this. Get a couple of blocks if you don't. See how I've stacked up two blocks? I'm grabbing my left wrist with my right hand behind my back, and for calm and peace, I just rest my forehead on my block. Now, you might be tight as a boiled owl, and you'll have to build a monument, an edifice to yourself. This might be where you're at for a while. 
This will give you motivation to do some yoga and open up a little bit. I like to roll my forehead left and right and get rid of cares and worries. This is how we roll. Good, now we're gonna do the hardest pose of the day. We're gonna hold perfectly still for 10 seconds, not a wiggle, not a fidget, not anything, stillness. Be still and know that you're God. Next inhale and come up. Now, one of, one of these days when we actually experience that saying, be still and know that we're God, that will be the most tremendous event of our entire existence. Right leg out, grab your left knee and left ankle. I mean, think about it, be still and know that you're God. For most of us, it's an interesting, radical concept. But imagine if you experience that to be the truth, that would be, there's nothing higher. Other way, left elbow under, front service from the right. Now right arm up, sweep it under, and scratch up your head, please. Scratch your head. Good, now take ankle pointy thing, outside your right knee like this. If you can fold your right chin under, do it. If you can't, do yoga for two weeks and then two more weeks and then for all the rest of the weeks of your life and then you won't be weak no more, you'll be strong. Now, grab your elbows, switch it the weird feeling way, brings them up. You might be stuck here because you're all crunchy. After a while, the crunchy turns to resilience. You know, Gumby and Pokey, they used to be stiff as marbles and they did some yoga and then they got famous. If you do enough yoga, you'll become rich and famous with riches that are better than money and fame that is better than popularity. Bring your arms down. Now it should be our left forearm on top. If not, fix it. Now see these hands, relax them. Tall spine, shoulders, Relax, chin level, eyes closed, tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. And the mantra affirmation prayer that I would like for you to say and feel is, everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. And we'll really learn to say it when it seems like it's not. Everything is always working out for me that's a slight that's a restating of everything works for good for those who love good or god good now swim toward me i'm grabbing my yoga blocks you might need a positive wailing wall really tall to bring your head down that's okay my wailing wall is this big I'm gonna grab my right wrist with my left hand and we're going to bring our floor heads down to blocks and then we're going to roll out the tension and worry out of our forehead and this also rolls open our third eye which is super cool you might say something like "Ooh, ooh. good then the hardest pose 10 seconds to be still and know that you're god Good now, come on up. Now, as we're sitting here, I do want to mention one thing. That's if you if you say that prayer and suddenly you say, "Well, golly, that means I'm God. I'm gonna I'm gonna smote all my enemies with lightning bolts." You're not God yet because God does not have enemies. Okay. If you think that you're God and you want to smote your enemies, you ain't there yet, which means you don't have smoting powers. Cool. All right. Glad you knew that. So 
We're going to chant Om once. That's just important. We don't get to be God if we're going to kill everybody, unless it's the Old Testament. Now we're going to chant Om once. Oh. Feel that peace, poise, presence, and pleasure percolate through your molecules. We are calm and peaceful souls. And for a moment, we might just overflow in gratitude, appreciation, thankfulness, and enoughness. Okay, it's 1211. I invite you for five minutes on your back in super blissful Shavasana, and I will, I hold time and space, I hold time in this hand space in this hand while you blissfully pour yourself out on the floor for five minutes of absolute nothingness. Nothing's more healing. Nothing is healing. Let your body sink into the floor, eyes roll back, brain melts, pose starts now.
Good. Two more minutes of blissful immersion in intergalactic cosmic ecstasy. Good, now stay in the pose, relax even more, and veterans know this, but if you're new to this, this is the time where, if you would like, you could invite God, love, source, spirit, universe inside of ourselves, always from choice. I try to remember to do that three, four, five hundred times a day because I need it. Good. Now, if you prayed the invitation of spirit in prayer, wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate an infusion and an effusion of feel good through yourself. It goes in and it comes out an effusion from an infusion. Good. Curl onto your right side when you're ready. Rest in curled up little kid pose on your right side, loving all over yourself. And then we remember to keep our eyes closed as we sit up to keep the calm and poise and peace resonating inside of our body, feeling our connection together. And somehow, some way, feeling better, healthy, happier, and stronger, we arrange our seat. Our spines are tall, our shoulders are relaxed, our eyes are closed. Our head bows in humility and reverence. Hands come devotionally to the heart. And let's actually feel that if I go deep into me and you go deep into you and we all go deep into us, we come to the same place together. The Sanskrit word for this true experience is namaste. Now, if you watch this live on YouTube, I'm going to shut that off. Thanks for joining, but please make sure to subscribe and to share with friends. We love you very much.